a couple of weeks now. This is an eriosis. See, it looks like a bird's nest, doesn't it? <laughs> bird's nest with like pink eggs in there. Good morning everyone! Welcome to Cactus Cafe. My name is Anna and this channel I share with you my passion for growing cactus and other desert plants. Over a cup of uh, my almost gone coffee now. <laughs> I've been doing some uh, work here in my backyard and in my greenhouse. I've been doing some rearranging and cleaning up. I've been rearranging because it's getting too hot here inside my greenhouse. I moved some of my pots outside because our weather is um, warmer now. It's still cool, not too hot. It's still cool. Morning temperatures would reach um, in the low 70s or mid 70s and then in the at night time our temperatures would still go down to a uh, high 40s or low 50s degree fahrenheit here in my greenhouse it's about 10 degrees warmer so if we are 70 degrees in the morning inside my greenhouse it would reach in the 80s even close to the 90s so it is getting pretty warm here in my greenhouse so i started moving some of my pots outside anyway for today what i want to discuss is how will you know if your cacti is coming out of winter dormancy i noticed that um some of my no not some actually many of my cacti are now coming out of winter dormancy so what are the signs that you have to look out for the very first um and most obvious sign that it is coming out of winter dormancy is if you actually see flower buds forming on your cactus so this is a gymnocalisum brucii see that little round thing on top there's more here another tiny one there so those are buds this one too this one is uh, rebusia so those little pink dots there those are buds and this has been in bud for a couple of weeks now this is an eriosis see it looks like a bird's nest doesn't it <laughs> bird's nest with like pink eggs in there so those oh that is the first very obvious sign that your cactus is coming out of winter dormancy Another indication that your cactus is coming out of winter dormancy is by looking at the spines or looking for new growth. So this parodia, notice the little red, bright red spines that is growing on top. Those are new spines forming. That means this is now starting to wake up as well. So see the little red spines there those are new growths the old spines are more white or black in color but the new growth is uh, red so it depends on what your cactus is but for this one the red spines are the new growth so if you see new spines forming that is an indication that they are starting to grow again and starting to wake up like for this cactus in here the new spine growth are black see so those are the new spines on top. I also noticed that during winter time, the spines are closer to the um, cactus body, like it's hugging the cactus body. But come uh, spring or during warmer months, the spines would actually start stretching out or straightening outside, outwards, um, away from the cactus. Uh, it's as if, you know, they're... You know when you wake up in the morning and you stretch your arms <laughs> so that's what i feel like they're doing they're starting to stretch and wake up and they start um straightening their spines i guess it's more evident for hairy cacti so see here see how the hairs are standing in this cacti like it's all spiky there too so that's what i noticed when they start waking up the hairs also starts to stand so that is an indication too for me 
that my cactus is starting to come out of winter dormancy. Another thing that you will notice is the color change in your cactus. For example, this uh, rainbow hedgehog here, Echinocereus rigidissimus, I can tell that this is now a brighter pink in color than what it was during winter time. So that is a good indication that it is waking up. Plus the fact that I could see that the spines are also starting to uh, stretch outward. And um, let me find another example. Oh, this. This Rebusha narvicensis. This was purple during the winter. You can still see some signs of purple colors in there, but it is slowly turning into a green color. So you will notice that your cactus will start having a more vibrant color than what it was during winter time. This one right here, this is, I'm still waiting for this to wake up. So you can see it's still very purple. Though there is some green now in the center forming or in the inner uh, corners. But um, that is still pretty much asleep, I think. <laughs> so that is one thing you will notice too, the color change in your cactus. Can you hear the bird? <laughs> yes, that is an indication that spring is coming. So in this garden, this is my cinnamon bunny ears. During winter time or the coldest part of the winter, all these pads were purple. They were so cold stressed that they turned purple. But now I can see that slowly the purple color is fading into green so it's not as vibrant yet but it is getting there so slowly the purple is um, going away and giving way to a greener color for your cacti that doesn't have long spines you will notice that the aerials will start getting fuzzier <laughs> so for instance this uh, opuntia um, bunny ears this is the white bunny ears Notice how the aerials look fuller and fuzzier. So that is an indication that they are starting to grow. And finally, your cactus may not be flowering yet, but you will notice them forming small pops. So that is again an indication that it is starting to wake up and grow. Although formation of pops may happen a little later when you have like several weeks of warmer temperatures. Okay, so those are the signs that you have to watch out for in order to know if your cactus is coming out of winter dormancy. They will still look shriveled like this cactus here. They will still look shriveled, although I do see new spines forming on top. They will look shriveled until you give them their first drink of water after winter dormancy. As for me, I think my plants are ready for their big drink <laughs> for their first big drink um if you've been following my channel you all know that i've been giving my cacti little sips of water every now and then all throughout the winter but right now i think they are ready for their big drink of water with fertilizer so the first um, watering that i do after winter dormancy i add a little bit of fertilizer meant for blooming so i use either a tomato fertilizer or any fertilizer that's meant for blooming you know for um, other plants but make sure you only use half the strength guys because uh, these fertilize these cacti i mean are not heavy feeders they don't need a lot they just need a little bit of boost you know in order for them to produce more flowers so just use half or maybe a third of the strength of what is recommended in the bottle I will be doing another video when I do my watering but in the meantime if you're interested to see what I did last year and in the previous years when I gave these their first uh, watering after winter dormancy I will put the link up on your screen here or also check the description below this video I will put all the links when I did my first watering after their winter dormancy all right so that is it for this video guys well let me know wherever you are um how is your weather right now i know somewhere in the east coast of the united states you guys are still having very cold temperatures 
I feel you. Don't worry. I feel you. But uh, rest assured that spring is coming soon. In the meantime, let your cacti rest. If you're still having uh, cold temperatures, let them rest because they will need it. They will need that stored energy for them to produce better flowers in spring and in summer. All right. So let me know in the comments below, guys, how your plants are doing. Are they now flowering? If they are, I am so jealous. <laughs> but uh, let me know in the description or in the comments down below how your plants are doing right now. Alright, so I'll talk to you again next time. Bye everyone and cheers!